Hello and welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. I'm Eric, your host, and today I have a bit of a confession to make. You see, I always try to preach empathy in my classroom and uh, being nice to others and treating everyone as your equal. But unfortunately, I just cannot wrap my head around why anyone would like the Postal Service. They suck. They're easily Ben Gibbard's worst side project. And I'm no extra, but I think if he had spent all that time making another Death Cab for Cutie album instead of Give Up by the Postal Service, we would have seen the best Death Cab for Cutie album ever. And the only reason I'm comfortable bringing this up right now is because it seems like so many other people online agree with me. The Postal Service, is, they got $14 billion cash on hand, they got a $10 billion line of credit. Whoa. They're, they're making more money right now than they were at this same point last year. Nah, that's too much money. They shouldn't have all that money. It, it, they're, 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 they're removing some sorting machines and changing out some mailboxes. Well, that just sounds like vandalism. This is not about the Postal Service, this is about politics. It's about a coach who knew that the wrestlers were being molested and turned his back on them. Whoa, shit, that got personal real quick. Good work out there. Jim, time to hit the showers. Why the fuck does this guy even have a Twitter if every single response is just gonna be like this? Hi, it looks like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Man, everybody's being a dick to this guy, but he's telling the truth. Yo, you talk like a pervert, but I agree with what you said. We gotta break up the Postal Service and figure out how they have so much money. Down with the Postal Service! Entry. The surprising mission of the Postal Service police who arrested Stephen Bannon. No way, well, how am I just finding out now that the Postal Service has its own police force? There's got to be something shady going on there. Oh shit, this article has comments enabled. And then it's just a bunch of political bullshit, and I don't want to really get into any of this. And nope, nope, nothing here I can work with. Just got to do my own thing. Got to tell you, I did not expect this topic to get so political, but the more I learn about the Postal Service, the more I'm realizing they got their hooks in just about everything. I mean, what's next? I'm going to find out the Postal Service police dug up my ex-wife in the middle of the woods, and now they've got some questions for me? Well, good luck, assholes, because I don't care who you work for. I never met a cop whose dick I couldn't suck to get out of trouble. And post! All service. All right, this is gonna be a good lesson. Well, if there's one silver lining to 2020 so far, it's that the Postal Service, which people only ever like because of one or two singles, finally are getting their comeuppance and it's fucking glorious. Postal Service has taken steps that have slowed the delivery of mail. Oh, big fucking surprise, the Postal Service being a disappointment and play. And the Postal Service says they have the capacity to handle the expected surge in mail-in ballots. Oh uh, yeah, right, like I'm gonna trust my mail-in ballots as some group who made an indie pop anthem out of JFK dying. Has the Postal Service taken steps that have slowed the delivery of mail? And the answer to that is yes, 100%. Oh, oh man, and these comments suck too. Lying liberals know that people who has died from COVID-19 can still vote. Why? Because there is no way to remove their name from the voting roster because the courts are closed. Get those ballots in now! Funny the Democrats put a bigger load on the Postal Service with mail-in ballots and want the American people to pay for their stupidity. Maybe they can pay for it with the money we pay them. We pay the Postal Service? I thought they made all their money off merch. This is democracy dies. This is democracy dies. This is democracy dies. You guy are living in the matrix. I'm filled to the brim with poop because my owner is too. By Don's diaper. The fuck, I wish these people would address the real issue here. I, I just, I, I gotta do it, I guess. This is what you all get for trusting your mail to the same group that cost us an extra Death Cab for Cutie record in 2002, right between the photo album and transatlanticism, when they were at the very peak of their brilliance. And no, You Can Play These Songs With Chords does not count because it was just a reissue of 1998's Something About Airplanes, so do your own research. Also, I don't know why I need to explain this, but there should be like a lot of people delivering the mail. Why would anyone want less people delivering the mail? That's fucking stupid. Plus, it explains why so many of my mail-in ballots keep getting returned turn to sender. I don't know about you assholes, but if I don't mail 100 fake votes every month, John Podesta says he's gonna sell my kids to Wayfair, and I really don't want to have to buy an expensive cabinet just to get them back. I hope whoever gets put in charge of the mail next knows what the hell they're doing, because my nan has been waiting months for her anti-seizure medication, and she's the only school bus driver in her town that isn't on a ventilator. But yeah, let's cripple the mail system by putting some unqualified dickhead in charge who could just leave whenever he wants and still have a lucrative day job to fall back on. I'd expect no less from the same country that has to put bulletproof vests on 5G towers and turns into a giant bug chasing party the second a global pandemic hits. And what the fuck is up with all the political comments? Jesus Christ, I can't wait for this election to be over so everything can go back to normal. All right, fuck the Postal Service and post! What's next? All right, it's today's sponsor, Babbel.com. Link in the description for 50% off six months of Babbel. See, that was easy. I didn't need to make a whole three minute mini movie for that. Oh, what's that I did? Okay, let's play it. <laughs> All right, so this is the gig. You sit in that chair, you make sure nobody steals nothing. 
steals them. It's an empty warehouse. <laughs> Don't you see that mystical relic? Pretty sure it's haunted. Maybe the warehouse is haunted. I don't know. Anyway, have a good night. I'll see you in eight hours. Hey yo! Ba ba ba! Ooh! Haunted warehouse! Ha, ah, ah, ah. Puedes escucharme. What? Hello? Someone there? Mi nombre es Itzcoatl. Uh... Mucho gusto? Al fin, alguien digno que entiende mi idioma. He esperado por mucho tiempo. Well, I mean, I'm still learning. Uh... Yo aprendo espanol con Babbel.com. ¿Qué es Babbel.com? Oh, it's the number one selling language learning app, totally ad-free, designed by people with actual language teaching experience, unlike those other apps that use machine learning AI. By the way, are you the relic that's haunted or the warehouse? Because I'm talking to the relic. I'm the relic. Oh, okay, tight. Hey, you know English. When I was king, I hired a team of language experts to teach me the languages of the world. It was a perfect way to spend my free time. Bro, that's exactly how Babbel.com works. Link in the description, 50% off six months of Babbel. It is muy sabio. Tomaré posesión de tu mente y conquistaré el mundo. I have no idea what the fuck you just said there, but that doesn't matter because I'm still learning and having a ton of fun with my Babbel.com lessons that only take 15 minutes. Silencio, mira mi soul. Ojos. Uh. Levanta la daga. Sí, muy bien. Encaja la daga en tu chakra. Uh. Libera tu alma a mí. Yes, master! Oh, forgot to tell you where the shitter's at. Whoa, there's a dude behind huh? you. What? Oh, fuck. Ah, you got me. I've been fucking with you this whole time, pretending to be the relic. What the? Hey, bro, you almost got me to stab myself. You're dumb as dog tits. But it's good you're learning Spanish. See you later. Dude, I spilled my guts out to that guy about how much I love Babbel.com. Oh, Babbel's great. Did you know every 15 hours of Babbel.com is equal to one college semester of Spanish? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it is. Also, you're a shitty security guard, so you're fucking fired. Oh, come on. Thanks a lot, Babbel. It's not Babbel's fault! Babbel.com! Link in the description for 50% off six months of Babbel. Hey, what do you guys think of the postal service? Yeah, they're, 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 they're good. They're good. Oh, oh, wrong answer. No, no. Tell me what what postal service you like. Nah, man, postal service sucks. I'm I'm confused. What exactly is a postal service? I like the original Ben Gibbard's band, Death Cab for Cutie. It was better, but somehow the postal service is like huge. They have their own police force. They're handling ballots. I I think they should be defunded. A band? Oh. Yeah. Is it a? Ba you know what, man? Fuck you guys. I'm out of here. What? What? Boom, that's how you win that argument. Oh, no, what's this? Save the Postal Service. You bring people together. You embody reliability. You embody respect. You embody service. These people are just letting nostalgia get to them. Like, the Postal Service isn't that good. It wasn't that good before. It's still not that good now. You do it like nobody else. And now they want to privatize the Postal Service. Jesus Christ, it's just the Postal Service. Why is this getting so much attention? It's not my Postal Service. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Great reliability, ha! Huh? Tell that to my dead chicks you starved in a box for a week. My chicks starved too. Which Wayfair cabinet did you buy? I got the Lisa. Total waste of 20 grand. And reply. No, don't let them sell out the Postal Service. Well, they sold out when they put out a half-assed remastered album with the only additional content being solo projects from two of the founding members. And reply. I think you are full of shit. Plus stupid as well. Well, that's not nice, no matter what side you're on. And shirtless old man. All right, now let me hit this Facebook group with some real knowledge. I ordered a $20,000 cabinet from Wayfair and it took so long to show up, it had a full grown adult inside. And poof, tight. All right, well, I keep hearing this privatizing thing getting mentioned. And I don't know what that means. So in order to learn all about it, I'm gonna check out one YouTube video from someone whose credentials I'm not aware of whatsoever. And then let what they say uh, be how I think from that point forward. So I found my guy. Why we should privatize the postal service. Cool, uh, doesn't matter what you say, I'm gonna believe it and play. 
Hello. Hello. Jesus Christ, man. You can't start your fucking shit like that. It's time to update the Postal Service. And the best way to do it, privatize it. Goodbye, letter. You're private now. This guy's losing me with the skits. The Postal Service is half government agency and half corporation, combining all of the efficiency of a government agency with the cuddliness of a large corporation. And even though it loses billions of dollars every year... Yeah, because their music sucks. It can't go out of business because it's not really a business. What it really is, is a monopoly. Well, that would explain their performance on the Billboard Top 100. Incidentally, catalogs and junk mail are most of what the Postal Service delivers, not letters. Well, then get rid of junk mail. Sounds like it's going to save a lot of money. Now we use email instantaneously and cheaply. We don't send letters. We use Facebook or WhatsApp or Grindr. I mean Tinder. I meant everyone heard me say Tinder. It was Tinder. Okay, I still don't know what privatizing something means, but I do know I want to see the comments on this video. Before privatization, the Royal Mail kept putting up prices and misdelivered mail. After privatization, the Royal Mail still keeps on putting up prices and misdelivering mail. Legalize weed delivery through the U.S. Postal Service. Watch how quick it rebounds. I wouldn't trust private company to mail me my bills, to be honest. This man looks like and moves like comedian actor Harlan Williams. What is the Postal Service? Well, it looks like we're 0 for 3 with comment sections over here. It's just a real piece of shit. This is what happens when you converse with Postal Service fans, I guess. Oh, sure, privatize the Postal Service. Real fucking smart. Like, just let anybody be the Postal Service that they got the money. That's sure not gonna lead to a bunch of shitty knockoffs who charge twice as much for the same exact thing. Can't wait to see a, the Postal Service fee added to my Comcast bill that I have no way of getting rid of without signing a new contract that allows Josh Gad to come fuck my wife. Please let me live in a world where the Postal Service, of all things, is so important and so talented that we're gonna let billionaires control a piece of them. You guys are taking this too far. I wish I could just go back to when the Postal Service wasn't in every fucking headline I read. Why not privatize Wayfair cabinets while you're at it? Billionaires already buy a ton of those, so we might as well just put them in charge of whatever the hell's going on there. But hey, fuck me, right? I'm just some guy who didn't even like the Postal Service to begin with, and now I'm defending them because what you want is so much dumber. To quote my good friend Don's diaper, I'm filled to the brim with poop because my owner is too. Wait, I just realized that's a political joke. Fuck! Sorry, and post! Alright, well back to Facebook, because so far we haven't even interacted with the Postal Service. So, here's the official Facebook page of the Postal Service, and of course, it's just full of people who don't understand music. And here I come flying in hot. Nice shitty band, assholes, and post. Oh yeah, stirring up the bees nest. Our album Give Up is number 36 on Rolling Stone's best debut albums of all time list. Thank you. Oh yeah, right. Number one to me, my wife walked down the aisle to such great heights. It's forever our song. Whenever we hear it, we get the biggest smiles. Thank you, Ben and Jimmy. Come down now. Ah. That's actually kind of sweet. Honestly, one of the greatest albums I've ever heard. You guys are amazing. Yeah, they definitely meant that. Oh boy, they love this band. My number one! Yeah, I guess, I guess it is number one for some people. I, why, why would I want to take that away? Still my favorite album of all time! Man, you know, I never really took time to think about people who rely on the Postal Service. It's kind of... I don't know why that never occurred to me. Whether it's Death Cab for Cutie, the Postal Service, or just by himself, all music Ben Gibbard touches is pure gold. Oh, damn it, that guy has such a better stance on this than me. Got a nice, pure voice. Wow, I am an idiot. These people are wholesome, wonderful students of etiquette, and all of my campaigning to end the Postal Service and make them look bad, well, I, I just don't like what that means for all these people who consider the Postal Service a part of their lives. I feel like, I feel terrible. And now I gotta do the right thing by apologizing to everyone. And my favorite way to apologize is to send a personalized apology picture. So here we go. I bought Give Up based purely on review in a magazine. I thought, that sounds amazing. And it was. Hey, sorry. And apology pic. Oh yeah, that's a good apology pic. A one in a lifetime album. I appreciate your love for the Postal Service. And apology pic. Just bought it on vinyl two days ago. One of my favorites. Oh yeah, you're getting an apology pic. Boom. My bad, dude. This guy's solo musician sucks bollocks. Sorry that you're such a bitch. An apology pic. Well, he's gotta forgive me now with an apology pic like this. You're backing Biden. LOL, no wonder the Postal Service sucks and forgets things. LOL. <laughs> Look at this dumb fuck. She thinks she's talking to the post office. <laughs> hey, wrong Postal Service, idiot. And reply. And send apology pic. <laughs> some people, you know what I mean? Hey, Alexa. What's up, Eric? Play me some Postal Service. I don't like the Postal Service, so I'm not gonna play them. You just don't understand music, you stupid bitch. I understand music just fine. They're just not music. Oh, by the way, Rotten Pineapple Eric is calling you. No, 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 no. send him to voicemail. Here he is. Eric, did you hear about Wilfred Brimley? Of course I fucking have! Postal Service is making such bad songs Oh no, 
wow, the Postal Service disbanded in 2013? Aw, oh, man, why couldn't I learn that when I still hated them? Oh, I'm AFK in this game. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I just found out my new favorite band broke up seven years ago. Hey, I'm just gonna log off. Uh, okay. Okay.